I know who you are, Mr. Booth. You gonna help us or not? There's a bounty on the head of Booth. I intend to collect. Booth is being protected by the Confederacy. Now with Lincoln out of the way, this country belongs to us. I will not surrender. May God be my judge. God bless America. Good. So good. That was a clip from the highly anticipated series Manhunt that's streaming right now on Apple TV+, Plus, which follows the aftermath of Abraham Lincoln's assassination and the search for his killer. Spoiler alert, John Wilkes Booth, we all know that. Joining me now is the creator of the show, Monica Boletsky. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to meet you, Ross. So we do know, of course, it's John Wilkes Booth, but this show is about so much more than it just being a who's done it, isn't it? Yes, I like to refer to it as a who else done it, mm -hmm. because we know John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln, unfortunately, in Ford's theater and assassinated him. Um, but it turns out there's more to the story, and so the show explores um, who else might have been behind the assassination. What led you to choose to do this? You've done so many other shows, you're very successful. Why did you decide to focus in on this uh, particular assassination? I've worked on other shows for a lot of years, but this is the first show I created. Mm -hmm. And I really was excited about the fact that Lincoln's assassination in some ways is still an unsolved crime. Um, and so uh, I thought that it would be really interesting to do a pre-forensics detective story about it. Um, so it's a time before fingerprinting, so you'll see in the mm -hmm. pilot, you know, um, the Secretary of War Stanton just picks up the gun, you know, yes. no gloves. <laughs> <laughs> um, and those elements were interesting to me. How do you find somebody in North America without phones, without cars, mm -hmm. you know? You know, it is such an interesting way. I've seen part of it. It's such an interesting way to look at something that we feel like maybe we've been over again and again and again. But you really have a much different perspective on it. It's very exciting. Were there any challenges bringing uh, this to Apple TV? Um, they were really receptive from the beginning. They loved the story of a friend avenging his friend's murder who happened to have been the president. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that oftentimes the time after the assassination hasn't been fully explored, so that was a great opportunity. What do you think sets this series apart from other true crime dramas? Because when you think about it, that's really what it is. Even though it's uh, <laughs> you know all the way back in 1865, it's really no different than any of the uh, murders that we explored today, but this is a little different. Exactly, that's how I wanted to approach it, was what if the Lincoln assassination were treated like a true crime story? Mm -hmm. And what are some of the surprises you think viewers are going to uh, notice watching this? Um, I think that a lot of people don't realize, and I didn't realize, that there were more planned attacks um, on April 14th, 1865. It wasn't just Booth going to try to kill Lincoln. Mm -hmm. They were trying to kill the Secretary of State and the Vice President. You know, we are in uh, presidential election year right now. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think this has any relevance to the political themes, clearly not the assassination, but the political mm -hmm. themes that uh, your series does explore as well. Mm -hmm. I think the show is very topical because I think it's sort of a sliding doors moment in mm -hmm. our history where, you know, I think all of us have wondered, well, what if Lincoln had lived? And mm -hmm. so a lot of the culture that we have uh, was formed in this moment. And so I think you can see echoes from the past. Definitely. And, you know, your uh, series has gotten such great reviews. How does that feel for you? <laughs> Thank you. It's very exciting. Yeah. And uh, are you already in the process now of a next project? What's coming beyond this? Um, I'm not sure, but I would love to come back when I have it. <laughs> yeah, no, you can you can definitely uh, come back. We, we would love to see you. Let's talk really quickly before you go. Sure. I want to talk about your amazing cast. Oh, they're incredible. Yeah. Um, Hamish Linklater um, from... Mer uh, Sorry, Hamish Linklater plays Lincoln. Um, Tobias Menzies, who you might know, he mm -hmm. won an Emmy for The Crown. Uh, he plays Secretary of War Edwin Stanton, who is essentially our detective in the story. And then Anthony Boyle, who a lot of people saw in Masters of the Air on Apple TV Plus, mm -hmm. um, he plays Booth. So he played a good guy, and now he's playing a, a villain. And you know, this is one of the interesting things I just want to point out really quickly before we go is that the Secretary of War is like such a unique character that really hasn't been examined before, mm -hmm. and that's one of the 
the twist, right? Yes. Um, so the show takes place before we had the Pentagon and yeah. the FBI, mm -hmm. and his job was essentially to run both of those things. So he had a huge job. Mm -hmm. And um, I just thought because he worked so close with Lincoln yeah. and because it was his job to do the investigation that he would be a great lead. Well, thank you so much. It's such a great series. Thanks thank for coming. You. It's a lovely Thanks speaking for with you. It is such a great series. Please go check it out. Uh, remember, Manhunt is streaming right now on Apple TV Plus with a new episode dropping just tomorrow. Yep. I've caught some of it. It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> of course.